Welcome back to the last play. Um, we're going to head into the evolution thing. Uh, but one thing that I noticed is I think the daily regimen also sort of impacts sort of the rest of the clan um, and sort of what their like, daily regiment is. Um, I think that's really neat because... Um, that's a lot of stuff, huh? What's this one here? Willpower. All threats induce less fear. That's pretty neat. Um, because, you know, you aren't playing just as sort of an individual, you're playing as a representative of your species. Mirror Neuron. Once connected, it will be possible to ask clan members to mimic the grabbing of an item, then eating it if it is food. That sounds great, compared to what I needed. Um, we have Spatial Perception. Detect non-edible food sources from further away. Um, a couple of genetic mutations from to Babs. Odorant, 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 odorant. Possibly one specific. Remember that there's one more. Uh, it does seem like. These kinds of ones, the, the ones that come from genetic mutations, are kind of just like, say, permanent or semi-permanent, <laughs> right? Like, like, I don't have to learn this or connect it to anything else, which is interesting. Sound localization. Once connected, the range for detection of a sound source will be increased. I do like that one. I wish there was a way to better see how much... Uh, sort of neuronal energy, these connections, how far we, we, we have to be able to make these, right? Um, I, I want to know more about sort of the mechanics of those, um, how this is all calculated. Proprioception, once connected, it'll be possible to move on two legs a little bit longer. Proprioception meaning the sort of sense of self, knowing where you are. Tachypsychia, once connected, the tolerance to undergo successive attacks will be increased. I seemed to be, I seemed to just make it last time. I think I want to do this more, just because I'm I'm curious about what two legs will get us. Um, it seems like, you know, there's there's a chance for running that will be useful. Um, let's let's unlock. Um, Non-threatening odors of the same species will be increased. Which one was it? Sound localization sounds great. I hope there's more sound stuff that we, we learn from this. Uh, I was hoping, you know, there's sometimes where, where in unlocking these like little thingies, it uh, also... Um, It also, what's the word? Uh, some of them are already like, you know, we can initiate some of them already. Um, that one's always nice. Oh, okay, so a thing, a, noticing a thing about the, the ones gotten by genetic mutation as opposed to the ones that I intentionally unlock is the ones by genetic mutation, like they don't link up and so, so they can't sort of become skill trees in that way, um, which is interesting. Um, let's do some threat chemotopy. So we can smell the, smell the threats. <laughs> Range for detection of an odor is increased, which if I'm on the treetops, uh, am I out of am I out of juice to connect stuff? I might be out of connection juice. Um, but maybe maybe we'll just do a generational thing, you know? Oh, your clan must have at least one kid. 
Clan does not have at least one. Oh, wait, we have plenty of kids. Pfft, what am I talking about? <laughs> um... I think this is a decent time for us to do a, a, a generational thing as well. Um, and after their generational thing, um, you know, maybe we even just hop into evolution, you know? Sort of keep, keep things, keep things snappy, right? What are the things that we want to reinforce the most? Oh, we only have three things that are reinforceable right now? No, we want more neuron, neur we want to connect more of these things. Okay, 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 okay. I wish there was better sort of visual distinction between that, but alas, um, I think what we're gonna do now then is that your your legacy is secure. You can pass in peace. However, I think um, you an elder. I don't want to. I think I want to pick a fight. I want to understand those mechanics more. At the very least. And if not, then sort of see what neuronals have developed from that. Um, here is Lee. Lee, you did not go on any of these expeditions. And so Lee, I believe it is... I believe it's up to you. Um, to... Um, I don't know, see if we are... Allowed to travel into the unknown. Finally, maybe. Um, and if not, then two. Uh, pick a fight. Uh, but we're gonna take you alone, so that way you don't have to worry about. Um, sort of any other clan members. You can just, you know, get in a scrap and leave. And you don't have to worry about. Um, Babies. Let's grab one of these. Let's uh, switch hands. We'll alter this. And we will have us a stick. Does it help if we have two sticks? I don't know how this works. <laughs> um, but I think we can just kind of hop into, into stuff. Or maybe we should try and do something with a beehive? I don't know, I don't know what our, what our best moves are. You know, the beehive is close, and I think we can sort of investigate this beehive within this, these, this, you know, the remainder of this episode. Um, and then next time we'll try and like really, really like pick a fight, you know, we'll go after a snake. Okay, maybe if I throw this, I get to a good throwing position. <laughs> um, I would love to get to a place where I can throw things better, but part of me hopes that that won't come until sort of it's more of an evolution thing. Um, pick up my branch again. Is there a rock around here? Is there a rock around the clock? There it is. There it is. Whee! Whee! Is there any... Are there any sort of alterations that I haven't been messing around with, like more, more kinds of stuff like, like, like this. Like, are there any food things that I think I could alter in a, in a way different than just sort of sh shaking and bashing up a coconut? I'm trying to think about what, what kind of things might be, you know, developing neurons in different ways, which again, is not exactly how evolution do. These things are so close. They're so tempting. They, they, they kind of look like they're close. Well, once again, see if I can hit the beehive. No, 
I don't want to alter. What am I holding? I'm going to hold the rock. Of course, it assumes I'm right-handed. Um... Throw the branch. Okay, I got a little closer. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can, like, climb. Wait, you know what I haven't tried to do? I haven't tried to pick one of these, like, big old leaves. Not one of the big leaves. One of these. I don't know if I've tried to like alter this. Just like my hands. <laughs> it just tears up. Choice. <laughs> um. What are these? Is this like papaya? Have I eaten this before? I haven't. And it's just right here. What is this? Ooh, it's a droop. Like a like a, a gourd kind of thing. Are papayas gourds? Or does it just happen to be shaped similarly? Does that do anything for me? No. My the droop droop for eating it. Dope dope droop droop. You know, I tried. Really, what more can we ask for in this world? Um, are there anything... Are there any other hidden... Okay, so these little bushes seem to just be droops. Which is, you know, it's good for eating. Anything to hear? Can I hear the beehive? Why can't I hear the beehive if I can physically hear the beehive? Maybe that circle's just saying it's part of my plan. Walking around a bit. Walking around at the speed of sound. There's a thing saying that I could call over clan member one at a time. I don't remember if I kept that or not. Let me just, yeah, let me just eat this. It's in my hand. I want to stand up. I want to call. What if I do a clan's call? Is everybody following me? Everybody, follow me! We're running this way! What a heaping mess of people. My clan's call again will already stop following me. Or do I have to go over to like end expedition? End expedition. Goodbye everybody. As you were. As you were. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Um Well. I think it's time. I think it's time for me to head out and see if I can at least find the fight that I'm picking. Or just, you know, get myself very sick eating mushrooms that I'm not supposed to. Um, so I'll do a quick rest up. And then I'll grab myself another stick. And uh, we'll fight some stuff. I don't need this. At the pile. At the pile. At the pile. And then I can, like, carry the pile somewhere else. Like right here. And I can drop the pile. Actually, I'm gonna carry the pile around. I wanna see how far I can carry the pile. I wanna I want to see if I can make a sleep spot over on that side. And perhaps mature some neurons, Hey. Would it be a good idea to set up like the those barricade things? Oh my god.
god. See, look, those are just gorgeous. All of those birds, the, the way that they animate all of it, whoever animated all those birds did a, did a, a great job. Um, I can inspect. This is a pretty good pile of leaves he got going here. <laughs> I build? Yeah, start construction. Build a sleep pile. And we'll just rest for the night. It's just the afternoon. But we ate some things we really shouldn't have. <laughs> um, seriously, where are the, the eyes on this elephant? Um... So this isn't the elephant that I was hoping we would find. What is that person doing up there? Hang on, what is that person doing up there? Am I reading that right? Are you an unknown? No, you're... What are you doing up there? It's a dangerous place to be. Do I have to climb up and get that person to follow me back down? Just... You know what? You can take care of yourself. I trust you. You were out in the wilderness by your own. You can do a similar thing now. Is this a... Where's the dead branches? Is this a dead branches? Is, uh... Is, uh... Is this a dead branches? Is... This a dead branches? Is, uh... This a dead branches? This is a dead branches! There we go. <laughs> Getting a little desperate there. <laughs> running out of... Running out of stuff. Um, fantastic. Now we have a thing with which we can fend off. A thing with which we can counterattack. So now, Neuronal deactivated. Oh, probably with the, the, the kiddos. Um, now we can leap into danger. Uh, you know, maybe a little bit more of a controlled fashion. What is that tree? You see that tree? I like this tree. What is in this tree? I don't think I've eaten those before. Are these things I can eat? Switch hands. Grab. Inspect. Oh, that one seems like a bad one. Seems like he doesn't like that one. But what is it? Good to know that maybe I was able to tell that it was a bad one from inspecting it that way. Can I tell by the color? I want to inspect this one and see if it's good. Because the other one I don't think was this nice color. I think it was... A... Okay, that seems good. So I'm going to eat it. And... It did me good. I picked up another one. Oh, did I pick up another one? I did pick up another one. The color is different. Can I... Eat this one. If I eat it, this looks like an alright color. D didn't give a very sort of nice looking face afterwards. Interesting. So we're just gonna find the fight we're gonna pick. That's our, that's our goal, right? Maybe we can smell a baddie. It's coconut. Maybe we have to dive in a little further. Figure out where memorized items have been forgotten. I do, oh, probably the sticks. I'm okay with forgetting the sticks. Okay, that is a panther. Are there any other things that I need to be aware of before I fight this panther? I should know where the kapok fibers nearby are. That is that is part of the preparation. 
before I get into a, a tussle, a scuff, scuffle, a scuff, scuffle. Hit me up in the comments which one it is. <laughs> um, okay, it's neat that I can, as soon as I'm like over it, I can see what color it is. It'll be starting to smell. It's like okay, it's going to hover over, but if it was green, then it's a good thing. If it's red, then it's a bad thing. These catwalk fibers, fantastic. In that case, next time on Let's Play, we're gonna jump right in. Goodbye.